club is one that I just started two months ago, and we're almost 50 members now. I'm really excited about that. And I moved to Chicago two years ago. What is that? It's the Poodles of Chicago meetup group. Um, and I started it because, again, I moved here two years ago. There was a and I was looking for one. And there were some small dog meetup groups and even um, weekend groups and things like that. But I really wanted to have something that was specific for the Poodles. Because um, I find a lot of times they get along really well with one another. Um, and so the group is Poodles and it's also Poodles. So you'll see there's some cockapoos here. Um, there's some people. Uh, Shih Tzu. What kind of, I noticed a lot of names, it's not just poodle anymore. Yes, so um, as far as poodles go, they're the number one breed in the U.S., they're the most popular breed. Um, and there's three sizes of poodles, there's the standard, the miniature, and the toy. Um, and here today we just had miniatures and toys because Earth Pops caters to small dogs, 30 pounds and less. And standards tend to be bigger, they're at least 16 inches or taller, so they're a little over. This one particular facility is um, Target. But um, as far as mixes go, so because the poodles are such a popular dog, they've been mixed with a lot of dogs like Goldens, they've been mixed with Labs. Um, actually, the standard was the original dog of the poodle, poodle meaning to puddle jump. So poodles are originally bred as retrievers. That's why they have the poodle coat. And then would that explain what the poops on the bike? That's the poops on the bike, yeah. So it's a very crazy outfit. Um, haircut that they do for the poodles, but the most popular cut for the poodle is the continental, and so that's the one that's got the lion top, and then it's got the poops on the kidneys, and then it's got the bracelets covering the joints. Um, and actually, the reason for the poof on top of the head is so the hunters could tie a ribbon in their hair so they know whose dog was whose. So that's the reasoning, and of course, it's gotten very good through since the original days. That was the original reasoning for that. Yeah. Um. And so the standards were actually bred down into miniatures uh, by crossbreeding dogs. The toys were bred down with the Nishans, that's what a lot of people say, so that's why you have that small one. But really it's the only dog that has three varieties of toy standard and mini, and all three dogs go by the same standard for showing the a lot of times, yes, very much so. So it's great because the, the um, standard poodle was bred to be a water retriever. The miniature was bred to be a truffle hunter. So pigs obviously hunt truffles too, but unlike the pigs, the dogs don't eat the truffles. So if you're going hunting for a $200 worth of truffles, you're pretty happy if your dog doesn't eat that. Um, and then the toy poodles were bred to be companion animals. So you'll see a lot of toy poodles stick very close to their owners and still like to interact with other poodles, um, but definitely companion dogs. Yeah. I think that was just my Are they good for families? Poodles are excellent for families, so you really can't go wrong having a poodle in a family. They are pretty hardy, so they need exercise, um, but you can have a standard poodle in an apartment, believe it or not. So it's in city life, that's fine. City life is just fine, yeah. Um, as far as grooming, though, they are the most expensive dogs to take care of. You're going to spend a lot of bucks on their nice hair dress. And there are tips you can give for that. As far as yeah, so I've had um, my poodle for almost seven years now, and his first two years I did take him to a professional groomer, but I did I learned myself how to groom them, so I've been grooming them for five years, and there's a lot of excellent grooming books on how to do that. Um, I, I brought one of the books with me, so... Yeah, I don't do the poops on the butt. It's actually a really difficult haircut to do, the poops on the butt. <laughs> um, food. Um, so poodles are not supposed to be finicky eaters, although a lot of owners support them and they become finicky eaters. Um, but really, as long as you have a good, stable diet that consists of meats and vegetables, um, poodles pretty much eat anything that their owner gives them. Obviously, you can buy really good, high-quality kibble, or even put them on a raw diet. Poodles benefit from having raw meat and raw vegetables. There are, um, so they tend to have like stomach bloats and things like that, and then there are other things like hip dysplasia, and flies, and general diseases that they have. But you can have your vet check them out for that. So poodles in general live 10 to, 15, 10 to 15, 10 to 12 years, um, although some live obviously shorter. It's a bigger dog, and then the smaller dogs live a little bit. My little sister has a poodle who's now 12 years old. She acts like a two year old. It's amazing. There you go, exactly. Yeah. And they're great. I mean, poodles, I, I think, uh, unofficially, they're the second smartest dogs, right behind the Border Collie. But really, I think they're one of the smartest dogs. They really know how what their owners are thinking and feeling. So if you're having a bad day, you can really pick up on that, or if you're having an 
always, a lot of people think they're clown silly dogs, and it is because they always want to please their owner. They're a lot like clowns where they want to please their owner. Um, if you're a stranger and you're coming to bother their family, then yeah, they could, they could be aggressive to you. Um, but in general, they're very friendly towards strangers. Um, my dog is a registered therapy dog, so that is one of the things that they do. Um, they do therapy work, they do service dog work, so like seeing eye dogs. Um, it's, it's actually an amazing seeing eye dog because it's hypoallergenic. So someone that maybe can't have a Labrador can have a poodle as their guide dog. Um, well, I was just going to say on, on the basis of, uh, of the hair and the fur, you know, unlike dogs that have hair, the, the, hair continue, the hair grows and then it falls out, so you've got lots of shedding. But as far as the poodle goes, the hair just keeps growing, so that's why you've got to cut it. And that's one of the reasons that it's hypoallergenic. Exactly, yeah. So I'm an allergy sufferer, and that's one of the reasons that I got a poodle. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. You're welcome. I'm trying to think of the funny, all the funny stories that we have.